back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by Evan Schatzko of, of, uh, of course, the Kowiki Driver Development um, Series. Hope I got that name right. Um, and, uh, of course, part of the Kowiki Driver Development Program. How's it going, man? I'm good. How are you? Doing good. Of course, uh, of course uh, Coopersville, Michigan native, of course, on the west side of the state. Um, of, of the state of Michigan for people that don't know that are probably watching this uh, that don't live here. Um, so yeah, uh, what, what, I know it's been crazy busy for you. What was it like to get the call from uh, the Alan Kowicki scholarship? You know, it was pretty cool. Um, you know, I was just at work, I was working and, um, you know, I actually missed the call at first. So I, he texted me and said, Hey, call me back ASAP. And uh, I call him back a few minutes later and he's like, I got some good news, but you can't tell anybody. So, um, yeah, he told me, and it was it was pretty awesome. Um, he's a he's a really cool dude, and it was a really fo- it was a really cool phone call to get. Yeah, it was. Um, you know, of course, the people that run that scholarship, you know, Alan Deeds and Tom Roberts and all them, um, just really good people. So, you are from the state of Michigan, over on the west side of the state. Uh, how did? Let's talk about how you got into racing. So really my entire family's done it for basically as long as, well, I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, as long as I can remember, um, my grandpa did it, my uncles did it. Um, so it was kind of just natural. I didn't have, you know, there was nothing else that I I'd rather be doing. You know what I mean? Um, I grew up around it. That's all I know. Yeah. Okay. So you are 18 years old, but uh, you've already said you you're at work. You actually have your own company. Yeah, so I uh, I own Shotco Motorsports. Um, we're a new company because I just graduated and whatever. Um, but uh, you know we work on circle track cars. We're a dealer for shocks, springs, um, all that stuff. So fun, fun stuff there. Um, I know that. When did you, uh, what is your, of course, you know, getting in on the West side of the state, there's obviously a lot of tracks. How many times have you raced at Berlin? Oh, goodness gracious. I couldn't even tell you a ton. I I probably have a million laps around that place by now. <laughs> we, you know, we, you know, owning a, a business and everything, it's important to always stay up on the technology, not only for my own benefit, but everybody else's, you know, so we try and test at least once a week. And Berlin is about five minutes from home. So it's the most convenient track to go to. So, I mean, I couldn't even tell you how many laps, how many races, how many miles I put down at that track. I have never, I, I've lived in this state for my entire life and I have never been up there. Uh, really? Yes. That is, I think I'm going to try to change that this year. Um, of course, uh, there is a, there is an Arkham Menard series race there. So I might have to, I might have to go up there. I'm not sure. There um, is. And there's also, you know, a couple of big late model races and stuff this year. So you, know, you got money in the bank. You got, um, of course, kind of my, uh, help me out here. Um, there's the, the 251 this year. It's $30,000 to win 251 laps. Yeah. So a lot of, a lot of big names are coming. So big names. Yeah. Um, do you know Carson Hosevar well? Um, yeah. Yeah. I know him. Yeah. Of course, another proud Michigan name, of course, from Portage. Um, yeah. Of course you've raced at so, so much time here. What, for people that don't know, what is racing like here in the, in the state? Um, you know, a lot of people say this is probably one of the most, uh, you know, competitive parts uh, uh, as far as racing wise, um, in the whole country, you know, um, everybody's really up on their stuff. There's a lot of chassis builders and stuff in the area. There's a lot of, a lot of technology in the area. It's hard to keep up with everybody, you know, um, obviously the Southern boys are, are really good, but, um, honestly, you know, a lot of them will come up North and, and they can't really hang with the, the, you know, the local Northern guys. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's, I mean, there's obviously a lot. When is your like next race kind of thing? Where, where are you next? So I'm thinking that we're just going to race uh, opening night at Berlin. Um, there's a, uh, it's 5,000 to win 75 laps. So, you know, it's hard to drive past that track when it's, it's five minutes from home. 
I mean, that, that is really convenient to have. Yes, it's extremely convenient. Yeah. Yep. Pretty good. So I, I know you're going to be racing all across the country and all that and that, and that stuff, but uh, what are your plans for this year? So, you know, we, we, we want to race and travel as much as we can. Um, you know, the, the problem is we don't, you know, we don't have car owners. It's a family owned team. So we're basically going to hit whatever we can afford, you know, um, for sure. The, the two big races at Berlin, um, that's something I, I'm really focusing on is getting ready for those two races. Um, and then, yeah, just, just traveling whenever we can. Um, a lot of it depends how the season goes. If we start out and we win a couple of races, um, you know, the, the budget is going to allow more traveling, but if we go out and we crash or something, we're just not gonna be able to race as much. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can, you always have that racetrack like five minutes away from home, right? Well, right. Exactly. Yeah. So I've asked everybody this that I've talked to uh, the other scholarship winners that I've had on this, on the channel so far outside of racing. I know you're a pretty busy kid, but um, what are you doing? You're having some fun. I mean, of course, uh, you know, obviously it's just, you know, hanging out with friends as typical 18 year olds like to do um, yeah. girlfriend and stuff. Um, so, I mean, honestly, I mean, I, um, you know, the, the business keeps me so busy and everything. It, it's, it's actually extremely rare to, to hang out with friends and stuff, um, you know, but, you know, I, I enjoy hunting and stuff because that is my, my slow time of year. So it works out good, but other than, than hunting, it's, it's hunting and work. That's pretty much it. Of course, got to gotta get racing in there too. Well, yes. Other than racing. Yeah. I mean, racing is, is all I do all day, every day. So. Hey, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, what, 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 what is the end all goal? I know, I know everyone wants to race in NASCAR, but, um, or, you know, go Andy car sports car racing. I mean what do you want to do do you want to do you want to just stick with this late model stuff and because you got a pretty successful business right now yeah so um I mean uh, you know the goal is always to make it to NASCAR but realistically I, I'm too old don't have the funding behind me you know um so I you know as long as I can make a living in racing somehow I'm happy so my my plan is just continue the business, you know, the business will pay for my own racing and all that. Um, so as long as I get to stay in it, I'm going to be happy. You know, I, you know, I, I really, really enjoy working on them. I honestly probably enjoy working on them more than I do driving them. You know, um, it's kind of, it's kind of an addiction, you know? Um, so I pretty much have the coolest job ever. Yeah. Um, do you ever want to be in that ARCA race at Berlin? I, I'm not going to lie. Um, I've been trying to find sponsors to, to race that race. That is that I, I, I would love to. Um, seriously. I, I really feel that we'd stand a good chance there just because of the, how many laps I have at that place. You know, um, I, I would kill to race at that or race that race. Yeah. And um, yeah, and there's going to be, there's some big names coming out. I'm hearing Tom Hessert's going to be back out too. So, um, really, that's cool. Oh yeah, some some of those uh, old style Arkham and Arca fans. Uh, they're going to be out there, of course. Uh, Sammy Smith, Ty Gibbs, Taylor Gray will be out there. Sammy Smith. Yeah. Uh, did I just say Ty Gibbs? He's in Xfinity. Um, um, Daniel Dye, last year's winner, of course. Yep. Some fun stuff there. Sure. Yeah, it'll be fun. And of course. Yeah. Uh, of course, um, you know, Carson Hosfar will be back out at Berlin, too, with money in the bank. And, of course, the Bell in Berlin. I forgot oh, about yeah. That. Oh, yeah. Should be fun. All yeah, right. Yeah, very fun. All right. Evan, thank you so much for coming on, man. We'll talk to you soon. Yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate it.